hello, hello, hello. This is your host, Aldrema Harper, professional organizer and founder of OrganizeYourEnterprise.com, where I help entrepreneurs and busy professionals eradicate the clutter and distractions, eliminate overwhelm in order to elevate their income. And this is where I share a series of productivity tips for getting your enterprise organized. These tips are designed to help you get your enterprise organized no matter what size. If you are the CEO of your life and your family, it's an enterprise. If you have a home-based business, it's an enterprise. If you're a ministry leader, business leader, nonprofit or for-profit, it is an enterprise that requires time, energy and focus. Now, each of these segments will be 7 to 10 minutes, and it is indeed a bite-sized piece of power-packed productivity tips that's sure to inspire, motivate, and jumpstart your organizing endeavors for getting your enterprise organized. And now it's time to help you organize your enterprise, and this is episode number six. Yeah. All right. Now, listen, when do you know if you've taken on too much? When do you know when you are overwhelmed? How do you know when you're overwhelmed? And that is the topic for today. Now, I get a lot of clients. In fact, my clients don't um, call me. Well, most of my clients, 80 percent, 80 percent. Okay, can't even talk. 80% of my clients are clients or people who are at the point of overwhelm. And they decide that they need a little help. So, uh, this is a perfect topic for me today because um, I'm talking to and about people who get in overwhelm. Even myself, I get overwhelmed, even as a professional organizer. Yes, I do get overwhelmed. I'm human. I have stuff going on in my life. And uh, so there are times when I am in overwhelm. I sometimes overcommit myself. And uh, so, yeah, as always, I am being transparent. Okay. So, um, but it's a good, it's good to keep busy. But if you take on too much stuff and you book yourself over capacity, you'll cause yourself stress and burnout. We talked a little about that in the previous episode, uh, episode number five. And you'll do a horrible, horrible job in terms of quality if you book yourself or if you over, you know, book yourself in terms of capacity. The, the quality is going to suffer. So. It's important to recognize the warning signs that maybe you've taken on too much and you need to slow down a little bit. Obviously, if you're using your time well and you're still not getting things done, this is a pretty good indication. And if you find yourself at the end of the day and you've been and you've been productive, but there's still there's still essential items that remain. Perhaps you need to cut something out. Now, I. I got to tell you, I know that that's hard for some people because some people, you know, one one of the causes that I know that uh, really causes people to uh, be burnt out and overwhelmed is when they can't say no. It's like you say, you know, you're in church and someone wants you on this committee, come to this meeting, do this. We think you, you know, be good for this particular endeavor. Learn to say no. It, you know, you really got to know and discern when it's time to say no. So that may be, you know, a sign that you have too much on your plate. And if you're getting a little, you know, if you're letting a little routine, the little routines go, this is a sure sign. For example, if you're the kind of person who checks email daily, but now your inbox is piling up with messages, it's probably time to slow down. You know, if you find yourself cutting breaks and, you know, starting earlier or stopping later, you know, these are sure signs as well. 
So finally, if you find yourself routinely waking up with thoughts about your work or dreams about your work, this is, I got to tell you, I have friends that this has happened to, it's happened to me as well. You know, you have probably taken too much on. You may have to delegate or outsource or just adjust your goals and uh, or 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 the time frames. So these are crucial, crucial tips. This is a short segment today, but um, I really hope that you can take heed uh, to these suggestions that I'm giving you. So hope this helps and makes sense. Listen, I would love to hear from you. So let's connect on Twitter.com forward slash Aldrema, Facebook.com forward slash Aldrema, LinkedIn.com forward slash Aldrema, or just go to OrganizeYourEnterprise.com. And if you like what you've heard on this episode and you'd like to know more about me or how I can help you with your organizing and productivity challenges, just pop on over to OrganizeYourEnterprise.com. And for popping over, you get my free blueprint, Seven Secrets to a Productivity Breakthrough. Discover how to accomplish more than you ever could imagine. Set the right priorities today and get more done by tomorrow. Until next time, this is Dream, where I believe anyone can organize their way to success.